Hey guys, I have a bit of a treat for you now. This is F-Zero. It's a racing game for the Super NES. Or SNES or whatever you want to call it. Basically, awesome racing game. And I played F-Zero GX to huge extents when I was a kid. So this game probably a bit before my time to be quite honest, but I know, I'm a big fan of the series, so I wanted to give it a shot. I've played very little of it so far. I played some of it today. Like, I don't know, an hour or something like that. So, I do have a little bit of an idea what I'm doing now, but still not really very good. I was going to put it on YouTube, but the, the sound was horrible, so... It was just sort of gobbling, like helicoptering, so... Yeah, it just wasn't worth watching. I mean, the music in this game is awesome, so I just didn't want to have a video without it. Listen to this. Get out of my way, Pico. Now, one thing about this game that is different to F-Zero GX, which is the one that I've played the most in the series, is that you get one booster lap, and it does not come out of your energy, so... Like, I'm very used to playing, like, basically, spam the boost button, and have, like, next to no energy, so you, if you collide with, like, even one thing, then you die. I'm very used to racing like that, so... This is kind of different, and it's also kind of a good thing, because I'm pretty bad, and I'm hitting a lot of things, so... I'll get out of the way. See, I don't even think I need to go for the energy because I'm not even hitting things. I can just go along here and boost and just go way ahead of everyone. Something else which was kind of uncomfortable when I started playing, which is uh, B, <laughs> is accelerate. So you have to hold B, not A. Like, that's just, yeah, it's weird. And of course, A is use your boost. And I found when I was playing, I was playing Super Mario Kart before as well, I found when I was playing that with the control stick I would sway wildly in weird directions, so I just took to using the control pad and it's a lot better, although it's kind of uncomfortable. Ah, oh, get out of my way, goddamn. Wait, fuck. Wow, these guys are real assholes, did you see that? Now there are actually only four playable characters in this game. One of them is Pico, who is right in front of me. There's also, I believe, Dr. Stewart, who was the one who just knocked me off the road before. And although those cars really look like Michael Chain from um, F-Zero X and GX, I believe, they're not actually him. They're just random cars that appear on the track. And there's occasional glowing ones as well that really hurt you if you hit them. And who haven't I mentioned? Samurai Goro. Yeah. So there's four playable dudes. Oh. So the extra races are just there for shit and giggles, I guess. Oh. I braked, but it wasn't enough. No! Damn you, Pico! I see, so there's actually an indication of how many boosts you have in the bottom right of the screen under your number of cars. That's cool. Ah, oh, Big Blue. And the award for best music goes to... The award goes to Big Blue, in case that wasn't obvious. Listen to this. So catchy. Wow. Oh, and skidding out of control. I just—I don't even want to talk. The music is just too awesome. Like I feel bad talking over it. Get out of my way. Uh, 
Okay, here is a big turn. Aha! Now I'm still terror bad at this game. Oh. Get out of my way, Pico. So yeah, the energy management is kind of weird as well. I think I already went over that, didn't I? Yeah. It takes a lot longer to um, to get the thing to beam down and actually give you energy as opposed to you just when you ran through it in F-Zero GX. You would get the energy. Like immediately. Fuck. Wow, wow, wow. Now this is ice slash mirrors and it's not too much fun to try and go over. Oh, I've got a spare boost, I think. That's cool. Out of my way. I really want to use that towards the beginning of that straight, so I don't like boosting too fast through, you know, the healing stuff. I still don't know what it's called, just the weird pink shit that you heal when you're in. That stuff. Fuck off. Go away, Michael Chain. You know, Michael Chain does sound like it's one letter away from Michael Kane. So I think all these guys are just going to have to be Michael Kane now. Piss off Michael Kane. Now fuck you too, Master Falcon. We'll get real tired of your shit. I had to. I think these guys are all just secretly villagers from day in and that's why they all sound like Michael Kane. Like, God damn, I, I grew up in the wrong city. Like, fuck hell, if these guys are like all F-Zero races, you know, from town to day in. Get away, Pico! Oh. oh, I should not have boosted then! Ah! Ah! Nope, evidently I should have boosted then, and did. Fucking hell, wow, I'm about to die. <laughs> Sand Ocean. Oh, this is going to be fun. Look at that map. The mini-map in the bottom left. I'm going to crash and burn, probably at least once. Or maybe I'll just out -pro myself. See, I find to do a lot of these turns, you have to actually pull off the accelerator. I'm like, this is an F-Zero game, motherfucker. You just drift through them. You shouldn't need to slow down. Like, the whole point of F-Zero games is you go tremendously fast. But, I don't know. I guess there was just a different attitude in, um, in the SNES days. Motherfucker. Maybe I'm just terrible and don't know how to go through them at full speed yet. I don't know. Okay, so I sort of drifted it and then just let off right at the end there, and that seemed to be pretty good. I'm still in front of the dude behind me, so... That seemed to work. Fuck. Funnily enough, I actually find this handling easier than Mario Kart, even though it's a much faster game. It's, it's a lot more responsive. Super Mario Kart, that is, I'm talking about. Which I played some of earlier today for the first time and I was tremendously bad at it the first time I played it. It got better. Wow. There we go. No, no, there we go. So I probably didn't need the power. I've been doing a lot less running into walls than usual. Just taking my time, I guess. Oh, oh piss off, Michael Kane. No, fuck you too, Master Falcon. You don't want to see me when I'm angry! Like, Alright then. Yeah. Just, just calm the fuck down, dude. Wow. Wait, are L and R both power stick? Or... Am I just dreaming that they're actually in the game? This is Super NES, so it should have shoulder buttons. I don't know, man. I don't even know. Well, nice. 
Wow. Okay. <laughs> too much, too much. There we go. Dude, this is starting to look like a 50cc race in any other Mario Kart I've ever played. You know, just like a time trial. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. There we go. Yep, spoke too soon. Now there's... I guess that's Dr. F Stewart. Underestimated, I mean, overestimated how much you swing out if you do that to I'll piss off. There we go. <laughs> I took a lot of damage from that. Oh. Oh, get out of my way, Michael Kane. Piss off, wow. No, no, just don't even. Just leave me alone. I overtake both of them. How, oh man, I've been in first the whole game, and now, right at the end, I get overtaken. I basically can't hit the wall at this point, but I think I should be home free. That looks fine. Cool, now I win. See you later, shitboards. Whoa, I was so close. That is how an F-Zero race should finish, with you on virtually no health. But see, usually it's from all the boosts you've been doing, not from all the walls you've been hitting. But I'm not going to be picky. I don't even care. Deathwind. Now the kind of gimmick to this level is that there is a wind which is blowing you in one direction, even though the course is actually very simple for the most part. No, I think it changes direction because we're going around a lead and look because I'm bad. There we go. Now it's going this way. I don't think it actually... Wow. I don't think this style of level made a return in, uh, in later F-Zero games, but it's kind of cool. The music is very ominous. It's like you're about to experience death in Deathwind. See, when you boost, you have to change your trajectory, even though it's quite comfortable when, before you boost. Hi. The whole thing is, I guess it's just about messing with what you're used to and how to control the vehicle. I think it, I think it, honestly it does a pretty good job of it. Maybe it's just because I'm not. I'll piss off. See that? I'm just flying right into the wall and it's like negating most of the boost. I'll probably get better as, it, as I start to suck less at this game, but anyway. Oh, there we go. You have to change your trajectory. <laughs> Trajectory. There we go, England. I'm very good at it today. Quite sharply and fast, so... Oh. The astute viewer can see that my car is actually at an angle to the road when I'm going along reasonably straight. So that is the death wind. I'm pretty sure there are like uh, harder versions of this level later on in the game where it is actually a complicated track but yeah not yet because this is like supposed to be the easiest Grand Prix I'm just gonna boost straight through the dirt I'll piss off yeah F-Zero really fun racer um, like at least from what I can tell so far I had a blast with F-Zero GX and it's just really not that many people know about the series you know it's a bit of a shame um, I'm not sure when there's going to be another title in it, because apparently Miyamoto didn't really like F-Zero GX that much, even though that was like <laughs> a, a reasonably large part of my childhood. And it was it was tough, it was damn tough, but it was a really fun racer, like you just, you're just you not going to find one that fast anywhere. It's just, it's an experience. I may actually stream some of that later. I don't know if it'll be tonight. But I don't know. I do want to get some people together and play it eventually. I don't have a booster now, he's gonna win because he's a bastard. I'm gonna have to hit the boost pad like a boss and overtake him. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Where are you at? Where are you at, motherfucker? I'm honestly a little surprised that I won that. <laughs> I just, yeah, that's amazing. 
I'll take it. Alright, silence. Silence, fool! Now, this one, when I was playing this before, it took me about five attempts. I don't know what it was about this level, I just think I failed completely at handling on it. And there's just a lot of right angle turns. And bits where you have to be pretty precise, and of course that's hard when you don't really know what you're doing. But I think I'm just a little less afraid of breaking now. And so I'm getting around the corners quite okay, as you can see. Oh, that's, this is the toughest part. Oh, damn. I spoke too soon, but I was doing okay. Alright. Fuck. I'm still in first somehow. I'm gonna be making liberal use of the healing point. I probably could have boosted along there. Oh well. I'll get out of my way, Matthew Kane. There we go. Ooh, and he used to have to go right the fuck off the accelerator. And just left, right. Or right, left, whatever the fuck it is. And you get around it, okay. Okay, here is very boostable, but then I miss out on power. I kind of need that, because this is a hard level. At least for the new GP. And huzzah! I'm surprised I didn't take a shitload of damage like hitting a wall or something. That's really bad when you get a boost, you just bounce off for ages, it takes so much damage. Whoa. Okay, we're fine. Boosting, don't even care. Oh, that was a bad idea. As you can see, I'm good at demonstrating these things. Fuck! Yeah, a horrible, horrible place to boost, as you can tell. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to boost along here now. This is the best place to boost. Anywhere else is suicidal, that's what I've decided. Oh fuck. Oh fuck! Like, oh fuck, and oh fuck! Like, happy birthday to the ground, Captain Falcon. Oh, too pro. They probably don't expect the dudes to be able to do that. That's why this is the last level. Final lap. Okay, let's not fuck this up. Famous last words. Get out of my way. There we go. Fuck. Fuck. There we go. I don't know, the sound of letting off the accelerator is like the sound of failure to a dude who's played F-Zero GX. But I don't even care. Oh, you bastard. Get out of here. I don't know how I did that turn, but I'll take it. Oh, nice. Okay, now I think it's going through how I did in all of the other races. Nice. Okay. I think I got pretty much across the board a whole bunch of seconds and like a first. There was some bastard who overtake me at the end. There we go, that was my first. I think, did I get first on Deathman as well? I think I did. Yeah, Sand Ocean and Deathman. I actually tuned out when I was looking at the first one. So I don't remember if I got a first in that, but I'll oh, you guys on that. So yeah, I think that went pretty well. I didn't have to retry any levels. And yeah, I mean, really, this racer is just a blast, you know. It's uh, it's fast, it's evolved, and it's pretty tricky. So I know it's it's a good lot of fun playing it. Let's see how I did improved on my last times. Okay, by a few seconds on that one. 
fair bit on uh, a few seconds. Wait, I can't actually tell where my last ones were. Maybe it didn't save. Okay, that was like seven seconds. And that was like ten. This one. Okay, like five. Nice. At least I assume I, those bottom ones were me last time. Oh, well, anyway, thanks for joining in, guys. Um, Yeah, nothing more to say. I'll see you next time.